Hi everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to take care of your plant, your drosera or sandy plant, in order to keep it growing healthy and well. Let me start telling you that drosiers have leaves with tentacles, and the tentacles secrete a substance that is attractive to insects. And it, also, it also has uh, enzymes that allows the plant to eat the insects and it's sticky. So once the insect comes flying and stays on the leaf, he will not be able to move anymore. The plant will eat it. Once the insect is on the leaf, the plant will try to grab the insect and the insect will not be able to get out of there any longer. So you see here we have one small insect trying to get out, but he will not be able to do it. How to take care of temperatures with these plants? All right, keep these plants outside always, but avoid temperatures between minus two Celsius or 28 Fahrenheit and above 38 Celsius or 100 Fahrenheit. So always outside unless you have those temperatures and you get you get the plants in. Okay. Also keep a roof above plants in order for you to avoid the radiation at midday that could be harmful for the plant. Now, how to water the plants? You should get a pot, any pot you have at home, and you, ha you should put water in the pot. And afterwards, you put the plant, right? So you water the pot, you don't water the plant. Do never throw water to this plant. You should throw water to the pot. How you can realize that the plant is well with humidity? You may look at the top of the plant, you will see that it, it should have a dark color, like this one, and it also may have moss, they have here too. Moss is not necessary, but if you have it, it's a good indicator. A maintenance you should do with this plant is to cut the leaves that are dying. You see that there are leaves that have a black part because they, they are starting to die. So get a pair of scissors, disinfect them first using alcohol and a cotton. Once your uh, scissors are disinfected, both sides of course, just cut the leaf as close to the stem as you can. Right? Simple, like I'm doing right here. Good. And one problem that you may have with this plant is that an insect called aphid comes to the plant and the plant will not be able to eat it. So here I have one plant with aphids. Uh, they are very small, but you will see them right here. Okay, this tiny white point you see are aphids. Those are insects that are harmful for our plant. The plant cannot eat them. They may be they may be white or they may be black. So if you have aphids, my suggestion is to remove them using any object that you have at home, like I have here this stick. So I just try to remove them manually, mechanically, and they will just go. Now if you have many aphids or you have many plants, what you can do is to use insecticides but only pyrethroids. Uh, we have been testing pyrethroids for a long time and they have worked very well. Although you may find that bibliography that uh, recommends not using insecticides, our recommendation is to use pyrethroids carefully and with a small dosage. So this has been all for today. Thank you for watching us. Bye bye.